Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new series that I'm starting. So, this series is going to be Fallout 4 on survival come on, mode. Come on, come on. Oh God! But with a couple of extra rules added in as well. I'll find who did this. So the rules are obviously I have to play on survival. I promise. Um, I can't use any vats and I can't sell anything. Now I have some ways around this that I have some plans of how we can earn caps. Obviously quests, um, finding bottle caps, but there are a few other ways. I think that'll make it a bit more interesting because it can be very easy to get rich in this game very quickly. Um, my build is, or oh, I'll have to show you guys at the end of the vault. So here we go, our first weapon, security baton. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for that rule where I can't sell anything. That's, I think, going to make the run really interesting and unique. I have no mods installed. Now, <laughs> I like to clean up the Commonwealth. I pick up just about everything that isn't nailed down. Yoink. Now we are going to need food because I'm on survival mode and water. Um, some of you might notice something looks a bit different. I have turned the crosshair off. I find the crosshair quite distracting. Another rule for the run is I'm going to use only automatic weapons. Obviously I'm in the vault so there are no automatic weapons. But as soon as I leave the vault, I can only use automatic weapons. So that, coupled with the fact that I can't sell items. Now I can buy items, but caps will be quite scarce. So ammo will, yeah, be quite hard to come by. And we'll need a lot of it. Um, the reason for doing that, again, it'll, it'll add a bit more of a challenge, make it a bit more interesting. But also... I've never really had a playthrough where I focused on automatic weapons. Come on, that's right on. I oh know two more actually, there's one here as well. Yeah. Okay. That's Vault 111 cleared. Just gonna turn the audio down a bit. Because I have the audio going through my monitor, because I don't like wearing a headset and I don't want it to pick up the sound through my mic, so I'll keep an eye on that. Go. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Always gotta love the vault door opening in this game. Or any fallout really, but this one especially. Alright, off we go, into the wasteland. Now there was a bit of thought that went into this, like because I can't use vats, obviously luck and perception and agility in some sense isn't as useful. Mostly just picked the 
the special stats for certain perks. And also charisma isn't as useful either because I can't um, sell items to vendors. Here we go. Here we have Codsworth. Now, this isn't going to be a very story heavy run. I will keep some dialogue that's interesting, but some dialogue, such as Codsworth, I'm just going to skip um, and like edit out because I'm sure we've all, you know, heard it a million times and it, I feel like it wouldn't be very engaging to hear it again for everyone. So I'll try and keep things interesting and and skip the parts that, yeah, aren't as interesting. All right, Codsworth is going to go and search the neighborhood, but we can't use any weapons yet because we don't have an automatic weapon. Now there's our first magazine, Grognak, Barbarian, and the Jungle of the Bat Babies, which the perk is useless to us, but I still am going to collect all the magazines and bobbleheads. Now, settlement building, um, hmm, settlement building, I haven't made up my mind on settlement building yet, whether I'm going to do a whole lot or not, um, I definitely will do some, and I will make a player home, but, yeah, we'll see on that, we'll see, how much settlement building I do, I, I won't be able to help myself, I'll have to do some. Okay, I think I've decided I'm going to put it into intelligence because that'll give us more XP. Which in the long run is very useful. So let's actually head over to the weapon workbench. And let's see if I can't... Um, so I need one more adhesive. Okay. Oh, there's a tool box down here. Wonder glue, perfect. Okay, we can get a weapon. All right, let's put on the automatic receiver. Level up as well, which is perfect. I'm gonna save that level up just for now. Okay, Codsworth has cleared cleared the place out. Now I have subtitles turned off because I find them quite distracting and take away from the what's the word immersion of the game. But if you guys really want them on, I will put them on. So just let me know. So I'm just going to go to all the houses That's here it. in Sanctuary and grab all the valuable stuff. Okay, I'm just going to put my first level up into Lone Wanderer for the um, less damage. Take less damage and more carry weight. Another thing I forgot to mention is I won't be using companions except dog meat. Now that we have a 10 mil an automatic one we can take care of these red roaches that are littered around sanctuary now one thing i wanted to mention is i can't weapon bash either so i do have to use ammo to take care of the red roaches and any other weak weaker enemy okay so i'm gonna head to red rocket now i just left some stuff in a toolbox up near the workbench that i have no use for such as extra charisma clothing because I can't sell it but we did come out with a suit some glasses and a wig so that's an extra four charisma for when we're buying and doing skill checks all right here's red rocket and there's dog meat oh dog meat okay <laughs> hey boy what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, let's loot up Red Rocket. And I think I'm going to have Red Rocket as my main base for now. Yay, here come the mole rats. This gun is automatic. I'm just tap firing. To preserve ammo. But 
job, dog meat. Right, now some of you may think I'm crazy, but <laughs> I'm going to keep all of the tools. Now, I'm sure most of you have no idea why. Um, because it's quite an obscure little detail in the game. But once we get to Vault 88, you will see why I'm hoarding all of this stuff. Now, of course, our character is thirsty and needs to sleep. So if we head into workshop mode. And we will go... We'll, we'll put the water purifier here. Um, we are missing concrete, but there is some concrete just there. So now we can put down a water pump. Which I will put right there. And now... I can drink out of it. And I can also fill my bottles. But a little tip for those of you that have... For those of you that have the Vault Tech DLC... Is, yeah, there's the sink here, or the water fountain. So what you can do... Find a place to put it. And... You can fill the bottles much quicker. Using this than the, the water pump. And for those of you that don't know, you can fill bottles, um, empty bottles, but only in survival mode. It's not a feature in, in any other difficulty setting. Okay, I'm just going to get things organized here in my little garage, and I'll come back to show you guys what I've done. Okay, guys, welcome back. Well, <laughs> there was no time for you, but a little bit of time for me. I've decorated up. The garage in Red Rocket and made it into a little home base. Got storage, we got a bed. We've got our workbenches over here and out there. We have some displays here for bobbleheads, mags, unique armor and weapons, which I'm sure we'll have to expand and make this bigger. As the playthrough continues and we have a little spot for dog meat as well oh and i made a power thing out here as well but i'm out of a material so i can't run the wire to the main building just yet before i actually head into concord i am going to run up here and grab some loot we have a first aid box purified water Speaking of purified water, I had to take a sip. And then here we have yeah, a steamer trunk. Okay, let's head on into Concord and save Preston Garvey. Any minute now we should start hearing gunfire. I'm actually going to put a perk into Commando to get more damage for our automatic weapons. I'm just going to do some light looting around Concord first before we head into the action. Alright, dog meat, are you ready? Okay. Our first proper gunfight, here we go. We're not really kitted up that well, but. Hopefully, we'll be alright. And we are allowed to use explosives, and we do have a couple of grenades. Let's get up nice and close. Sure thing, we'll grab the ooh, pipe auto pistol, nice. We'll grab the laser musket. But we can't use it. Alright, let's do this. You ready, dog meat? Let's go. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm going to make a run for it because we only have pistols. And I don't want to be out in the open. Fighting enemies in cover. Oh, okay. This thing is not the best. It needs a bigger magazine. And you have a shotgun. Which is of no use for, to me because it's not automatic. 
Okay, this thing is not doing much. We do have a Molotov. Let's see if we can... Get some use out of that. Nice. Okay, that's one down. I'm looting in middle of combat. <laughs> there he is. Let's just try and get some pot shots off on his head. There we go, nice. Good work, dog meat. Standing there looking pretty. Okay, we have a couple of guys in here. I think a good way to take care of them is a grenade in there. Nice. Oh, that did nothing. No, let's not use the other one. Let's not use the other one. Oh, nice. Excellent. Alright, very nice. So, we... Did Museum of Freedom without taking too much damage. Here we go. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Alright, so I just skipped that dialogue, but basically there's a power armor on the roof and we need to get access to a fusion core down in the basement. Now here we have another magazine. There we go. This one does not give a perk, it just gives you the atomic command game. And of course the perception bobblehead. Nice. Nice. So we'll head back downstairs. And you can either pick the door or um, use the computer terminal, but I'm just gonna pick lock it. And there we go. So grab that fusion core. Now before I grab the power armor, I'm going I'm going to drop a save. And the only way I can save is by sleeping in a bed, so let's do that. Oh, okay. This is already initiated. I didn't know that was gonna happen. So if we just head down the street here, uh in at the top of this building there is indeed a sleeping bag. Oh, we have an illness, insomnia. That will mean we will require more sleep, which isn't the worst. All right, let's head back. We'll head back inside and head back up to the roof. Get him, dog meat. Good job. All right, let's run back in. Another level up, which will refill our health bar, which is very handy. Okay, so we've dropped a save. Heading back up to the roof to grab the minigun and power armor. Now, of course, a minigun is an automatic weapon. It is not affected by the automatic weapon perk, I believe. But it is still an automatic weapon in my eyes, so I'm allowed to use it. Cool, are we? Oh, oh we have an infection. I thought it said insomnia, my bad. Um, well, yes, I'll definitely use the antibiotics then, for sure. But here's our power armor. Which I will definitely enter. And grab our minigun. And of course, I gotta grab my loot. Before I forget. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up now I'm gonna stay up here and pick them off before I jump down. Nice shot, Preston. Alright, I'll jump down now. You ready, dog meat? Don't die on the way down. Okay, just a few raiders, right? Of course, most people know what's coming, but for those that don't, I won't spoil it. Tap firing this thing is definitely the way to go when you're at a bit of a distance. 
And there's our death core. Let me kill these guys before the death core steals them. There we go. And now, dog meat will tank a few hits for me. Wow. Okay, he's coming close. He's coming close. Let's hide in here. Oh, we have a raider in here. Let's go, dog meat. Where's that death core? Here he comes. Wait. Run around the car, run around the car. Oh god, he can push the car. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, we got him. Nice. It's, it's alright, dog meat. I gotcha. Okay, nice. We took a fair bit of damage, but not too bad. Right, we just got the Core Vega assembly plant key, which will come in handy later. Alright, let's go speak to Preston. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, Preston. Something just fell on your head. Right, so Mama Murphy lets us know that um, she had a vision where our future lies in the uh, Diamond City. So that's our only lead, so yeah. And we told Preston that we'll meet him back in Sanctuary, and we will do that. Help those guys out, get them on their feet a bit. But for now, for me, I'm just going to make a trip back to Red Rocket. Yeah, we'll go back to Red Rocket first. Now the perks, um, I'm going to put one into Armourer and one into Gunnut. So we can do a bit more advanced crafting when we get back. Okay, here we are back at Red Rocket. Well, we have a situation here. The blood bugs have entered Red Rocket. Whew. The invasion of the blood bugs. Right, repaired up the power armor that can stay there for now. Let's do some modding. We can now put on a hardened automatic receiver on our 10 mil, which is going to use most of our screws, but I think it's worth it. Um, that's really all we can do. We can put a paint on it, which is kind of cool. But nah. We can put a large magazine on the pipe gun. Yeah, let's do that. We just need more screws. Sure, why not? Let's get some studded. Nice. So we'll grab our vault suit back. And we will put on our new gear. There we go. That's much better than the drifter outfit. Alright, let's save the game. We'll sleep till the next morning. And then we'll head back to Sanctuary. And do some quests for those guys. I might not do the sanctuary quest just yet. But I will come back here to get the XP. From Preston. Uh, for meeting them in sanctuary. <clears throat> hey, good to see you again. Alright. Excellent. Level up again. Plenty of XP. So another level up. Now I'm going to get the fortune finder perk I think or the scrounger no we'll go with scrounger first so we can get more ammo next up I'm going to clear out concord grab all the useful stuff there the magazines that we haven't picked up and then we will do some exploration around this area grab any magazines around here and then we will see where we go from there. So there's a couple of places I want to hit up in Concord. The first one being the Speakeasy. Because there's some pretty rare and useful drugs here. Also lots of beer bottles which I will pick up. Because at the moment water um, isn't as plentiful as we'd like it to be. So we'll try and get a nice stockpile of that.
Now, a little something uh, for you guys here. If you head up the stairs all the way along this corridor, in this doorway there is a first aid box just poking out there, which you can loot. Weird little thing, but there you go. So we grabbed our day tripper and XL, which is here. Um, there is some stuff in this room, which we can see over here. There's a 10 mil pistol, ammo, steamer trunk. But we don't have high enough lock picking to get in there. Right, one other location I want to hit up here in Concord is the sewer system, or the civic access it's called. And the main reason for that is there is a magazine down here. It's also a myloke and some mole rats. But the mole rat hide will be good for modding our leather armor. Okay, we have a frag. Let's see if we can't get the frag just right. Oh, that nearly got him. There we go. Nice. Now up here we have another day tripper. And I think a teddy bear, but it might have got blown away. Yeah, there he is. Back here we have a fusion core and a lunchbox. Now in here is where the magazine is, I think. Oh, there it is. There we go. Again, no perk from that one. But it's a magazine and I like to collect all the mags. Okay, we have some red roaches up here. Take care of them. No problem. Right, and we have a few mole rats over here as well, which I should be careful. Don't underestimate ro mole rats on early game survival. And mongrel dogs as well. If they cripple your legs, you can be in quite... Oh, I didn't need to reload, I have a large mag, I forgot. So here's the death claws den, where he was gnawing on some animals, a brahmin and a myalurk there. Just quickly running back now to Red Rocket, we've gotten everything we wanted from Concord, so I'm going to drop off a few supplies and then we will continue. Okay, I just checked to see what else we could make studded and we can indeed make all of our armor studded now. Which brings our damage resistance to 37, energy to 65, and radiation to 10, which is not too bad. Now, I'm going to head to the satellite array, but I'm not going to speak to the Abernathys, and there is a reason for that. The main reason being, um, when you accept that quest, you can no longer sell melons to... The, the the daughter there, I've, I think Lucy. Oh, I don't need shotgun shells. And that's one of the ways I'm going to be making money because you don't actually enter a trade screen and then sell them and accept. You basically give her melons for caps, kind of like a job, right? And of course, we have the circuit breaker here. We, if we um, turn that on and then head up here, follow the pipe, there is a lid we can open and caps fall out which is very useful and there's a snub nose pistol there which is useless to us some raiders down here which we'll quickly dispatch of hopefully they don't dispatch of me let's use the 10 mil here fumbling way less recoil on this thing and we also need to use a stim pack. And I'm, um, okay, we'll stim pack. Use that and water. Come on, raiders. Oh, more rat. Was random. Alright, nice. Got some more XP. 
And we get some more meat as well. Now a quick stop before we head to the Saddler Array is the junkyard here. Now there is something you can do with the robot, but I'm not too fussed about that, so I'm not going to be doing that. There also is a mini nuke and a fat man which we can't use, so I'll leave that alone. Fusion core and military grade circuit board is always in that container. And in here we have another military grade circuit board and another one. And of course, another magazine, which is why I came here. Okay, that's all I wanted from this place, so we will continue. Now, there is another power armor down here. Um, if I was doing a normal playthrough, I would take that and collect it. But, oh, it's actually a nearly full one, which is rare. Usually, it only has like three pieces. Yeah, I would usually take that, but because I'm doing this as a, a playthrough... Um, like video format, I want to keep things moving along, so I'll leave that there. Right, so there's the satellite array. Now let me just check that flight helmet. I think that's better, better energy. It does look cooler, so you know what, we'll wear it just for that. Alright, let's head up here. Have some mole rats. And there is an explosive mole rat, which I should be careful so heading on up here. Oh, it looks like they killed their own dog. That's harsh. I'll get out the... Oh, the, the bloke flies have already fought with them. Okay. Get out the pipe pistol to save ammo. So are there any more guys here? I'm not sure. Usually you fight some raiders here, but it looks like the fight's already went on and they're dead. So... Oh, yep, there is one. We'll jump up on top of here. See if we can't get him from above. Okay, let's jump to that car. Get some cover. Now it's easier if I just charge with automatic. Run and gun. Now, before we head on inside, I'm just going to sleep in this sleeping bag here. Or mattress, I should say. Save the game. Hopefully no disease. No disease. Okay, good. Heading on inside. Here we go. This can be quite difficult, this area. There's a boss here which has a minigun. And we don't have the best armor or weapons. So I should definitely um, not underestimate them. I think I'm going to use my 10 mil in here actually. I don't want to take any risks. Level up. Lovely. Take refuge in here for a sec. And there is a dog which I'd like to take care of because dogs have really high perception and spot you. There we go, pretty easily. So we have some more guys in here. Come on. There she is. There's Minigun Girl. Okay, okay. I have one Molotov. Go, dog meat, get her. Alright, got her. Nice. Nice. There is indeed... There is indeed an army helmet there, which I just picked up. Which I think is, yeah, 10 damage resistance, which is... Pretty much as good as we're going to get for a helmet for a long time. Pretty good loot in this place, actually. As you can see, I'm quite of a... L <laughs> I take a lot of loot. I can't help myself. I'm usually worse than this in my own playthroughs. I thought I'd, you know, wouldn't be as crazy. And if you guys are enjoying the video so far, give it a like. Um, or we don't want to pick up that locket, because that'll screw up that whole, um, selling melon things. I hope clearing out the area doesn't screw up. I'm not sure about that. But we have some rad roaches in here. We can shoot that fire and take out a couple. There's usually a legendary one on survival mode in here. So hopefully he gives up a good legendary. If there even is one in here. There usually is. Yeah, there he is. Little one. 
We got a sharp leather chess piece, which is amazing. Because I love getting more intelligence, because that means more XP. On my, um, my modded playthrough where I'm, um, where I do my settlement tours, I have a full set of sharp gear. I think my character's level 178, I think, something like that. Obviously, I've done a lot of settlement building which levels you up, but I'd say most of that is actually combat because the higher levels you get, ooh, the um, more XP you need to level up, and settlement building doesn't give that much, whereas defeating high-level enemies does give a decent amount. Army helmet. And we have some rarish items here, like the unrusted tin can. Or untarnished. Oh, that's unrusted. This one's untarnished metal bucket. Clean broom. Late edition newspaper. I would usually collect them and keep them, but I'm not too worried about doing that this playthrough. And we have a fusion core there. But as we see, I'm already over encumbered, but I think I can drop some stuff. You know what? Actually, we can drop the minigun and take it like that. The old cheeky strap. Okay, we got the intel room key, so this door at the beginning we can enter. Right, so this is what I came here for. This magazine. Alright, um, where did I put that minigun? There it is. Okay, that's another location cleared. And another magazine. Gotta collect them all. Alright, we will head back to Red Rocket once again. Now here at Thicker Excavations, there is a quest, but... I don't know if I'm going to do all the quests this run. I kind of just want to get all the bobbleheads and magazines and complete the the main stories. I will do some side quests, but... Now, the reason I came here is there is a magazine. And the magazine is over here in this trailer. It's not a very useful one, but it's kind of cool if you want a tattoo. A lot of the early game magazines don't actually give you a bonus, I've noticed. I don't know if that's intentional to kind of keep the game balanced early on, but yeah. Okay, we are completely full. We have no choice but to head back. In this bus, there is a first aid box. I'm still under limit. Um, I should probably have a stim pack as well. Make sure I'm at top health, because if we die, we lose a fair bit of progress. Is that Raiders? No, it's not Raiders. He has a bowler hat. Raiders don't wear bowler hats. Oh, she has that rare, um, striped bandana. They're pretty rare. Ron Staples. Right, I'll speak to uh, Ron, see if he has anything useful. Hey. Um, he has, he has a tar berry, which could be useful. Sure, I'll buy you tar berry. And I'll buy you melon as well. Where's my minigun? Where's my minigun? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Nice. Alright, back to Red Rocket. Alright, we got some pretty cool things that trip. We can put up a blood bug and a death claw. Head. There we go. Okay, I just uh, put the studded mod on the sharp chest piece. So now that will give us plus one intelligence and charisma, which is very useful, very useful. We'll have a nice restful sleep till the next morning, which will reset the sleep counter and also give us some light. Actually, first, before we leave, I will see what I can mod up on my weapons. A sharpshooter grip, which is pretty useful, but what about the pipe gun? Let's get a marksman stock. Yeah, let's get a marksman stock for that. And let's put a scope on it too. Put a compensator on it. A drum mag. Put the short ported barrel. That's our new uh, automatic pipe weapon. We're ready to go. Let's do this. I could have given dog meat some stuff to carry. I totally forgot that that was a thing. 
I don't even usually take dog meat with me, so. There's some bloat flies here. There's one, there's usually another. Oh, I nearly just clicked the bats button. Such a habit. There we go, nice. Okay, we will discover Abernathy Farm, but I won't really do much here. I don't want to speak to Blake. So there she mentions the melons. Now if you ask her about caps, Did you say caps? Yeah. we'll just skip that. And then bottle cap currency. And then how many caps. What are you paying? Three caps per hmm? And then you can ask for more. And she'll give you, instead of three caps per lemon, she'll give you five. Make it five. Deal? Deal. But let's keep it between the two. So there we go. So that's one way we'll be able to earn some caps. And they do have a melon field at back, so we will grab them. Heading on into this trailer, we have some loot. Nothing crazy. A, s a mattress where we could uh, save the game, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. Now there's a random encounter spot over there. We have some rad stags. And a Yaogwai. Oh, we do not want to mess with that thing. Hopefully that stays over there. Down here we have a ma another magazine in this house. And some bloat flies. Which we can pretty easily dispatch with our pipe rifle. Save ammo for our 10 mil. It's a bit more of a useful weapon and the ammo is more scarce. So I try to be careful when I use that. So heading on into the cabin we have the Iceland survival guide. This one has a perk. Only take 5% less damage from melee attacks which is pretty useful. We have a holotape here. I won't listen to that. Um, it just talks about a girl who ran away from her family or something like that. Now here we have the wicked shipping yard I do believe. Let's see what it's called. Yep wicked sheep Fleet lock up. Um, there is another magazine here. And some ghouls which we can easily take care of. Now this trailer is expert locked but we can get into that pretty quickly. With a key. Okay, in this truck here. We have a dead settler. Oh, we'll take the corn actually. And there's a safe here. Only novice locks, so we can pick that one. Okay, nice. And then in this room here is the key and the magazine. There we go, nice. A terminal there, which ex uh, you can actually read that and it will um, show locations on the map, but I don't need to do that. So we have one ghoul in here, which I'll show you guys an easy way to take care of him. So you can jump on the roof here, and there's a duffel bag with pre-war money. And then there's the ghoul right there, you can just take him out nice and easy, and jump on down. Now there's another um, holotape here, I'll take it, but I won't listen to it. Um, that just talks about the shady stuff that was going on. Um, it looks like we have a rad storm coming, which is not good. But yeah, we'll open up this with that key and take what we can out of there. Now, hmm, that storm is a bit of a problem. There is a mattress here I could sleep it out in. Oh, okay, they found me. Hoping they wouldn't find me. Where's the other one? We got him nice. Okay, in here there's a mattress. We'll sleep for, let's say, three hours. That should probably make us hungry, yeah. But at least we don't have to put up with the rad storm. Um, I don't really want to get any radiation, so I'm not going to go down there. And that did save our game as well, which is always good. Up on top of this here was a random encounter spot. Who have we got now? We've got Chem's Vendor. Um... I'm not interested in, in any chems, to be honest. Now, along this bridge, there's usually a random encounter, as we can see there. Looks like raiders. 
Is it? Or is it gunners? Or is it a vendor? Because that person looks like they're not armed. It could be a vendor protected by a couple of mercenaries. I can't use vats to see, so I'm just gonna... We did just save, so... Okay. They've spotted me and they're not hostile. So what's your deal? You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Okay, heading up here, we have sunshines. So up in this house, there's a couple of ghouls, so... Take care of them. And here we have the Wasteland Survival Guard. This one's really useful, actually, especially on survival mode. Apparently collect an extra meat kill from animals, which is probably the best book for survival, to be honest, in my opinion. So that one, you should definitely get as early as possible in survival mode. So take care of him. Open up this door. Some medical supplies in this house here. Which is pretty useful. A bourbon, I think I'll leave that. I'm not too big on alcohol in these games. Not that they're bad, I just don't find the fuss really worth it. Man, this pipe automatic gun is actually <laughs> doing really well. Alright, we have Professor Goodfields there, which I'll let, leave him be. And this is now our settlement. Not that I'm going to really do anything with it right now, anyway. So for now, this is done. We can leave. Um, we could actually build a bed and sleep in it. Although we don't even need to build one because there's one already up here. And actually, I'm pretty sure there's a chem box behind this building. There is. What does vodka do? Max HP. That's actually not bad. I'll take that. Okay, so yeah, we have a bed here. We'll just sleep for an hour. Oh, in insomnia. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. We're starting to get diseases, and we don't have any antibiotics, which is not good. Next stop is the... Oh, God, I forgot its name. Um, Federal Ration Stockpile, maybe? Now, when we head up here, a couple of raiders are going to spawn behind us. So as long as you're ready for them, you should be okay. Don't throw a Molotov, please. Please don't throw a Molotov. Nice. Okay. So, what's this? The Lonely Chapel, I think? Yeah. So, we can head on inside here and... Get a different angle onto the um, the federal ration place, um, but I don't actually prefer going that way. Oh, hello. You know what? I wouldn't mind some red stag meat. I'm sorry. It's pretty useful red stag meat. Now we get double meat, so we get two of them. But yeah, I prefer to go in from the outside. It's easier to attack this place, take these guys out, and then go in from the church. Because we can have the high ground up here, which is way more useful. Now we do have a short barrel, so we're not doing very good at range. So I should probably come in closer and battle. Now I'm not going to loot anything yet. I'll take everyone out, because this area can be quite dangerous. And then I'll, I'll grab stuff to loot. We do have a level up. Which I should take advantage of. I think I'm going to go for Life Giver to get more HP. And also I'm going to take a Vodka right now. I'm going to take a Vodka. And I'm also going to take a Medex. And now we're just going to charge in. Take a Stim Pack back while we're hiding back here. Oh, we gotta take care of that turret before it rips the dog meat to shreds. Oh, there's the power armor lady. Oh no. This could be our first death. Let me over. Let me up on top. Okay. We're safe up. No, we're not safe. 
Okay, rip. There's the first death. So I'll head on back and I'll see you guys when I'm back there. I think I overestimated my power there. I thought if I take more health and take that vodka, I'll have plenty of HP. I can just run in there. Um, little did I know that is not the case. Alright, here we go. We'll try to do this a bit more carefully this time. I won't go running in. See if that helps. Now there's that lady in there. Let me get my Molotovs. We have them, okay. Let's just try to be stealthy here. I'd like to take her out and then take the turrets out. There we go. I've heard her stand still. Sit down, that's even better. Because then I can get a shot at her head. There we go, nice. Alright, we're in caution. So we'll play it safe for a minute. I'll sneak around over here. Now there's a guy inside here actually. We should take him out. Next. There he is. Okay, he's taken care of. Grab our fusion core. Oh, there comes a dog. Oh no! That dog got us again. Okay. Now, of course, I could go in from underneath. Um, but like I said, I find that more difficult. Because when you come up to the stockpile from underneath... Oh, it is... You know what? I might have to because it's a radiation storm. So we might have to go with the times and actually go underground. You know what? This might be a blessing in disguise. Because we can clear out the bottom here and then sleep in a bed. And then we can... We'll try from, from a different angle on that stockpile. I could take some drugs as well to make it easier. So we have a few enemies in here. Ten mil isn't as good anymore because it only has twelve in the mag, whereas we have forty-eight in this gun here. So there's a raider boss there, red Tourette. Pretty strong, especially when you only have a pipe weapon. Oh. Okay, there's a raider scum there. And I think the only other enemy in here is a turret, so we should be good. You know what? I could be really cheeky, because the US covert manual is right here. And that's why I came here, so I could just grab that and leave and not come back. Oh god, oh god. I might even do that. Because this place has proven to be quite difficult, so I might just... Loot the underground and not worry about that outside bit, actually. How much weight? Yeah, we, we still have a bit of weight. Oh, what was that? Because there is... I think there's a stealth boy in this place, actually, which would be so useful for us. Watch out, dog meat. Turret. Good boy. He actually came back. Smart dog. Now, I've got to remember, I can't click VATS. Um, it's a major habit for me to use VATS, so i got to tell myself not to do it. Especially if, when there's mines, I usually spam click VATS. Now, there's a guy down here somewhere. There he is. Ready to scum. Take care of him. And then if we jump across here, I think this is where the stealth boy is. Yep, nice. Some grenades too. Unlock this door. I think there's a fusion core in here. Yeah, there is. Nice. I think we only have a couple more enemies here to take care of. Yeah, one more maybe? I could even just leave them and leave now, but the XP is pretty useful. So, Okay, we are nearly over encumbered, so... We will definitely get ready to leave. Now, he died by a trap, I think. His own trap. Oh, legendary. And he has a shotgun, too. Okay, let's back up. Let's actually play it safe here. Let's put down a mine. Let's put down a mine there and another one there. We'll get out um, grenades. We'll take cover here and wait. 
he's probably not going to come that AI in this game is actually pretty smart compared to Fallout 3 where they just chase you no matter what okay there's two enemies because that guy was male and that that was just a female talking oh hello 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 do I have grenades out? I do let's throw a grenade nice that's the legendary and what is his weapon? Oh, troubleshooters. Troubleshooters leather. That's not bad. Robots are pretty strong, so that's not the worst legendary. Oh, we killed the other one. Nice. Now, there's some cap stashes around here, I think. Yeah, there we go. You can tell I've played this game a lot. It's probably my favourite game of all time, so I have spent a lot of time. Okay, we'll head back out the back entrance. Oh, Fun entrance for us, but it's supposed to be the back entrance, I think. We won't do that main area. Um, it's pretty difficult when you're not prepared. And there's nothing really there of use, so there's no real reason to, to do it either. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, I don't know how long... I've been recording for a couple of hours, but I'm going to cut them down, so... I don't know how long the episode actually is. We'll just, I'll just see how long, I'll try to keep them, you know, around an hour. I think that's a good, good length for a playthrough episode. I don't know how long, uh, how often they'll be coming out, but I'd like to keep them fairly regular, you know. If I can a couple times a week, but that's probably pushing it because editing will take a lot of time and energy and I don't want to burn out and just try to crank out episodes and not enjoy it. Although it's pretty hard not to enjoy it. I do like um, creating content for you guys. It's been a lot of fun. Alright, very successful run there. Got three magazines. I think next I'm going to head to Tempines and then go do Corvega. Got some nice warm lighting in here now. Very nice. Alright, here's some of our magazines on display in our one bobblehead. Already amassing quite the collection just in episode one. So now we have a couple of legendary items. Our two legendary items are actually decent. Well, I love sharp gear. That's like perfect for me. Um, level ups. Hmm. We'll go for life giver again. We could get it twice. Yeah, why not? So there we go. We have some turrets up now in case something attacks us, which is pretty handy. I know that things come from over there and over there somewhere. So that should do. Right, let's sleep till morning. Okay, we're ready to head off. Let's do this. Um, oh, 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 oh. Actually, before I forget. We can get a large magazine for our 10 mil. Very nice. We can also get a sharpshooter grip. Now, we don't have a crazy amount of ammo, but we're doing Corvega, and the enemies there do drop um, a lot of pipe weaponry and pipe ammo, so I we should come out with a net gain of, of uh, 0.38 rounds if I don't go Gunzerk and waste all of my ammo. Now, there's a Red Roach here, I think, or somewhere here that's friendly. I, I don't know where exactly he is. Now, I have to find him to show you guys. Even though there's a rad storm, it's a really bad time for it. Where is he? Here he is. Yeah, he's a friendly red roach. He won't hurt you. Yep, he's he's cool. He's cool. Okay, we're getting pretty close to ten pines now. Now this is one good thing that automatic weapons are good for: little bugs, little quick bugs. Okay, so we're at ten pines. We have some people here to talk to. Right, I'll skip this dialogue. They'll just tell us where they want us to go. Okay, Corvega assembly, as I expected. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. It's a vault dweller and some raiders. Nice job, dog meat. Good job. Oh, and we got some more rats. Okay. Now, let's see what this guy wants. Oh, there we go. He tells us about Vault 81. Nice. I already knew about it, but thanks, buddy. Um, we have some ghouls here. 
I'm not too sure if there's... Oh, I know there's no magazine, but... Oh, God. I should be more careful. I should really be more careful. There's a lot of goals, actually, man. There's a lot of goals. Poor dog meat. I'm gonna have to use this tin pack. Yep. Be good. Alright, you get back in the fight, my little shield. <laughs> oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. There's actually a lot of ghouls here, man. For an early game area, there's a lot of ghouls here. Now, if you come here at a later level, I don't know what level you have to be. It's probably around 30 or something. A railway rifle will spawn there. And because this place respawns, maybe that's why it respawns. But yeah, because this place respawns, you can farm railway rifles from that spot. Which is pretty cool. Oh, hello. You're going to give me a dog. I want a dog. Yes, please. I will buy the dog, even though it's a lot of caps. Oh, actually, he's going to want... He's going to, like, think I'm not good enough. And I won't take care of him. So we need to take a day tripper. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. You know what? I changed my mind. Oh, what? No way. Dang. No doggy for us today. Oh, okay. We'll unlock this. I'm pretty sure there's a dog inside here. So I should be careful. But I'm pretty sure there's a mattress as well, actually. No, no dog. I thought there was. I swear there's a dog around here. Somewhere. There he is. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, this place, the old folks home, I can't remember the exact name. What's it called? Mystic Pines, that's the one. Now there is a mag here. Here we go. There we go. That's a decent magazine. Yeah, this place is it's only really good for for that magazine, so we'll be on our way. Okay, we will continue. There's a group of raiders just bunkered down there in a couple of ruined buildings. We don't really have a reason to take them out, though. Um, super duper mutt here, which we do want to tackle. Although, I might do that after Cool Vega, because... Although, I could just sneak in and get the mag and get out. It's probably our best bet, actually. That's what I'll do. Right, so what we can do here, we can cause a distraction. So that we don't have to use much ammo. So if we turn on this terminal and hack it. There we go, first try. We'll unlock the safe, but more importantly, we'll... Oh, sorry. Yeah, the safe, but more importantly, we will do the Protectron there. So now he's going to distract the ghouls, and then we can sneak on by and get the magazine. And hopefully not have to use much ammo. We'll get the 10 mil out, though, because that's more powerful. And um, ghouls in close quarters are pretty dangerous, especially on survival. And we have a couple of ghouls in there. But if I'm quiet enough, I should be able to sneak on by them. There's a lot of dead ghouls in here, actually. There's a lot of good loot in this place, too. But let's see if we can see a ghoul right there. He's alive. Well, as alive as ghouls can be. Lots of bottles. We could pick them up for purified water, but... Purified water isn't the biggest deal, to be honest, if you have a settlement which produces some. Um. So yeah, we got that magazine, so that's perfect. We got some melons here which we'll take for, to plant. For our melon field that I'll make later on. So, the Protectron did our work. Usually you get some good legendary uh, enemies in here, but... Um... Hmm. Don't know if we're really strong enough to be... Well, I think we're strong enough. I just don't want to waste all the ammo. Automatic weapons, two, three ammo, and... We don't really have... A ways of getting too much more. I mean, we'll get some from Corvega, but I'll, I just... I just don't want to run out. Right, so on top of here... There's a bed which we can sleep in. Which will be perfect. Now, just got to be careful, because the raiders can actually spot you here. If you're not quiet enough, so we'll sleep for an hour. Now we can jump off either here, or we can go down the way we came up, which we'll do that. I would like to sneak around and get on top 
and attack it from the top. So let's do that, dog meat. Let's go all the way around. I think that's our best bet. There we go. We discovered Corvega. <clears throat> and then there's the Fire Sport quest, which is the start of the Dark... Uh, I nearly said Dark Brotherhood. No, that's Skyrim. Well, that's Elder Scrolls. Um, Brotherhood of Steel is what I'm trying to say. This is not a good position to be in because they can throw Molotovs. Okay, there's one. Let's take him out. He has the high ground. Okay, we're in danger. Which means Molotovs will be thrown if they have any. Dog meat's just running in there, I'd say. Oh no, there he is. Okay, let's try to play this smart. We did drop a save, but... I want to die as little as possible this round. And we've already died twice. Oh, God. If I can get... I could use a Berry Mentat. Oh, God. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to get this perk. Chems take... Uh, last longer. And I'm going to use a Berry Mentat. And that is going to help us dramatically. Or drastically, I should say. Oh, God. Grenades. 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 Oh god, oh god, and I should be picking up their guns too, because that'll give me more ammo. Right, I want to... I'm not going to loot much. I'm going to loot at the end, because I want to take advantage of the very mentats as much as possible. So I'm just going to gung-ho through these all these guys. And then when we're done, I'll, I'll loot... Oh god, we're nearly dead. You're using a shotgun from up there, that's not very smart, man. I mean, neither's the lifestyle of a raider, so I'm not surprised. Oh god. Where? There he is. She. Nice. Looking pretty again. Okay, there's still more. Let's head on up. That's not too good. Oh, there's one there. Coming up from below. Hope that was dog meat just there that I saw. Yeah, it was, okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay, nice. So, there is a very special item which I want to grab here. And of course I want to get all the ammo off of those guys because I just used a ton. Okay, we have another shotgunner here. Dang. What are you doing all the way up here with the shotgun, man? <laughs> That's not very smart of you. Alright, here we have the repair bobblehead. Nice. Fusion cores apparently last 10% longer. Pretty decent. Nothing crazy. Probably one of the worst bobbleheads actually, but... Um, it's still useful and it's still cool. So. Alright, let's head on to the front. And we'll head on inside. Hopefully there's not too many shotgunners so we can continue growing our stockpile. Because ammo is going to be probably our biggest, our biggest thing. There we go. Heaps of ammo now. Plenty... I'm not worried about running out for this Corvega um, mission, but... I'm thinking a bit more in the future. Oh god, this is not a good position, and these guys are jittering around. I like to shoot through the, the holes here, I don't know why. I always find it easier. Nice. That actually killed someone. Lots of raiders. This place is chocked with raiders, man. I swear there's more than what I remember. Still more. What? It's like infinite raiders. More? No way. Are they just spawning or something? Oh, turret. I nearly forgot about you. Alright. So we got the bubble head on the roof. There is a magazine to get here as well. And of course we need to kill the leader uh, to complete the quest. Now there are plenty of guys here, but we don't need to kill them all to actually clear it. We only need to kill the boss. Now here we are. 
There's some turrets, and of course there's the big man himself. Let's see if we can't lob a grenade up there and take him out. That would make this a lot easier. You know what? Oh, she's going to see me. All right, I have an idea. Let's just take her out. Get over here. Grenade. That was the wrong guy. But I didn't even get him anyway. Oh, nice throw. Where? Where? There. One shot to the noggin. Okay, nice. Let's get rid of these spotlights. Because more enemies are going to spawn. I just wasted ammo. I could have acti activated the protectron, but... Oh, we still got more. We got the turret. Okay. And there's more. I think the other ones are below, though. We should be okay. Yeah, I think more do spawn in, but I'm not 100% on that. Here's the Grognak book. There we go. So that's a third Grognak book there. Yeah, here we go. Need a couple more spawned in. Underneath here we have a chest. Here it is. We pick up the key for that, so that's good. And then around here, there's a gold pocket watch there, which I always try to grab. I usually collect gold pocket watches on my normal runs. <laughs> that's one thing I usually do. Right, nice. Back to Ten Pines. Talk to those guys. That was pretty... I don't want to say easy, but... Unexpectedly... Unexpectedly not difficult. Okay, with Starlight, I am actually going to enter the back here. One, because we're right here. And two, because... The Rad Roach in here can be legendary. And if we can get, like, a good legendary pipe gun, that would be, like, a... Imagine if we got an explosive legendary pipe gun. Oh, watch out, dog meat. You're bringing this with you. You know what? We can bring that if you want. <laughs> but speaking about the playthrough, I'm going to end it there for today because we got a lot done. Um, I still have to speak to the settlers at Ten Pines, but I can, I can go do that off camera or... or I'll meet you guys there at the start of the next episode and we'll come back, speak to Preston and we'll do some uh, the Sanctuary quest and whatever else I come up with. We've done a lot today actually. We've got a lot of magazines. Let's go have a look at our magazine rack. So in the first episode we got three Grognak mags, two bobbleheads and a bunch of other magazines. Now I know these are a mess at the moment and not really in order but once I get more I'll have it more organised. And This... I'll probably have this room here display as well, and maybe out here. It'll just grow the more stuff we get, but for now, this is all we have. But I just wanted to thank everyone for watching, and if you watched it this long, God, thank you so much. That's crazy <laughs> to think that anyone would want to listen to me jabble on and play a video game for that long, but if you enjoyed it, I'd, that just makes my day. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, this is our little home at Red Rocket, and yeah, thanks, everyone. See you guys in the next episode.